Welcome to the Fowler Extender E Bore Gauge instructional video. In a few short steps we will show you how to master and effectively use the system for a variety of cylinder bore applications. Your bore gauge kit will include instructions, spacer set, shaft and 2 to 6 inch measuring head, 2 inch extension, 1.4 to 2 inch measuring head, electronic indicator and cowl, battery, and multiple extension posts. Upon examining the kit, it is important to note that there are three vacant post locations and one vacant spacer location. Two posts are already installed on the 1.4 to 2 inch head and the 2 to 6 inch head being shown at this time. To connect the cylinder shaft to the electronic indicator and cowling, remove the clamp, simply insert the shaft onto the shank of the indicator, reattach the clamp, and secure the clamp by replacing the screws. Turn knurled screw clockwise to tighten. When completed, the bore gauge shaft should be rigidly affixed to the indicator as shown. The next step in the measuring process is the calibration or mastering of the bore gauge. At this point, a master ring or some other known diameter will be needed to set the bore gauge at the appropriate size of measurement. In this case, we have chosen a 2.74998 inch ring. Now we will enter the appropriate preset size into memory. Tap the inch metric button to ensure proper units are displayed. In this case, inch units are needed. Depress and hold down the app set button until the set icon appears and the first numeral is blinking. Release the button and lightly tap until the desired number is displayed. When finished, hold down the abset button to move to the next digit and repeat the process until the desired number is entered. When the final number is entered, hold down the Ab Set button until the set icon is flashing. Release the button and lightly tap one final time to enter the measuring mode. To master to the selected ring size, the appropriate post must be chosen to fit the internal diameter of the ring. Remove the knurled nut off of the measuring head and simply exchange out the old post with the new one and re-tighten the nut. Ensure there is plenty of plunger travel so you can get full rock on the bore gauge. To initiate calibration, ensure the gauge is still in absolute mode by pressing the AB set button if needed. The ABS icon will be visible. Next, tap the min button. This activates minimum lock function and ensures capture of the reversal point of the ring. The min symbol will be visible. When you are satisfied with your repeatability, press and hold the cal button. 
This calibrates the bore gauge and assigns the preset ring diameter to the reversal point measurement that was just carried out. To check your calibration, reinsert the bore gauge into the ring and reset min function by simply pressing the zero on button and resweeping. The value on the indicator should be within a few ten thousandths of the indication on the ring or better. If the desired number is not shown, repeat the previous steps. You have just successfully calibrated the gauge. Now the gauge is ready to be used on test bores. Do not hit the cal button unless you are recalibrating in a ring. During normal measurement, the zero on button only is used to reset the minimum lock to determine bore size. Thank you for choosing Fowler products.